Hello everybody, welcome back to KDP A to Z. Now today I want to run through a few different issues that you might experience when you're uploading your manuscript or your front cover. I've been there before, we all get it wrong, and these errors crop up again and again. So to start off, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what problems might happen. This is one of the most common ones I've seen when people are asking questions and are asking for help. When it's saying, we've checked your file and found some issues that you need to fix before your book can be published. This happens an awful lot, so we're going to go through how to fix that one. This is another one that crops up all the time. The sizing of the front cover is wrong to what they're expecting. Another one that can commonly happen is that your pages sometimes move when they're uploaded into the document. So this writing should be at the bottom of page six, but here it's at the bottom of page seven. We're gonna go through how to fix that. And sometimes with Adobe Illustrator, it'll upload the document and it will look completely different to how you've done it. That can sometimes happen. I've had this before. Similarly, sometimes it will come up with different lines that look odd on the page. I'm gonna quickly show you how to fix those issues. So if this is the kind of thing that interests you, I only ever focus on self-publishing on Amazon KDP. Feel free to check out my other videos. It's completely free to subscribe. My videos are always short and to the point. So I'm gonna start off with this issue because this is one of the problems that I see coming up time and again in the Facebook pages and elsewhere, and even I've experienced it myself, which is where it comes up saying, you need to do this fix on the interior pages. So you need to add 0.125 inches to your book's width and 0.25 inches to the book's height. Now this issue only comes up if you have selected bleed for your bleed settings. I've done a whole other video all about bleed, but the basic concept is that if you've got a page with bleed, the image will extend all the way to the edge of the page. So this page here in the example that KDP have does not have bleed. You'd normally need to use bleed if you were doing something like a coloring page like this, which is where the image goes all the way to the edge. Now for this design, it's saying 7.5 by 9.25 inches and that unfortunately will be the wrong size. If you've got Canva Pro, it's quite easy to resize it using this button on the left here at the top, but it's quite an easy fix otherwise. So you just need to go to the home on Canva and instead of putting your width as 7.5 and 9.25, you need to add that one eighth of an inch to that setting. So it's gonna be 7.625 as the width. And again, a quarter of an inch added to the height. So now it's going to be 9.5 and you create your new design. Then you can just add your previous image to that page and simply extend it all the way to the edge. And what Amazon will do is they will print it on that slightly larger page and they will trim the edges so that your image looks flawless and won't have any white gaps in it. The next issue that I want to address is getting the front cover size wrong. Please don't assume that KDP will automatically allocate the right size for your cover. You have to put in those settings into your pixel sizes or your page dimension size. Now you can predict what those page sizes are going to be and it's very simple. So once you've made your actual document, your template your manuscript, and you know exactly how many pages your book is going to be, you can go into Cover Calculator on Amazon KDP Tools. So if you go onto your Kindle Direct Publishing page and you select Tools and Resources, all you need to do is type in Cover Calculator into the search bar. You want to be selecting Create a Paperback Cover. And if you scroll down the page to just below this image here, you'll see some blue writing here which says Cover Calculator and Template Generator. Click on that. Now, depending on whatever binding type you're going with, whether it be hardcover or paperback, you just select which one you want to do. The interior type, you could go with premium color, standard color, or just general black and white, which is what you'd normally do for a coloring book. You can select either cream or white paper. Remember, they're gonna have different thicknesses. So it is important you select the right one to get your page sizing right. The page turn direction is always gonna be left to right. And then you're going to select your size of your book, whether it be in inches or millimeters. 
So I'm going with 7.5 by 9.25 inches and I've got 27 pages. So we're just going to calculate those dimensions. And it's saying here that your book, the full cover should be 15.311 inches and 9.5 inches in height. If we look back to this problem error page that we had before, you can see that it says exactly the same thing, 15.311 inches wide and 9.5 in height. And those are going to be the dimensions that you want to put into Canva or whichever design program you're using when you're customizing your design. And that will be the exact right size. When you save that as a PDF, it will come up as the exact right size for your manuscript. Another thing that sometimes has happened to me before, and I couldn't work it out for ages what was going on, is this has happened to me. So my document here is actually only 25 pages long, and this is the one that I've uploaded onto KDP. But for some reason, KDP seems to have interpreted it as 27 pages long. And if I look through the book, I can see why. So here I've spent quite a bit of time and effort getting everything on the right pages. So I've got front cover problems, and then trust me, I've been there. That's all on page one. You can see here, this writing here is at the bottom of page six, some writing at the top of page seven. So you can see what I've done here. I've tried to lay it all out. And for some reason, when I've uploaded it all onto KDP, it hasn't come out the way I want it. Trust me, I've been there is now on page two. That writing that was on the bottom of the page in my work document has all of a sudden jumped to the middle of the page three. That page has completely moved one. So it's saying it should be at the page, bottom of page six and now it's on seven. As I go through as well, there was some writing on this page that suddenly moved over to this page. Now that's quite an annoying thing to happen when you spent hours and hours getting your format right. But it is a simple error that you will have made. Because what I actually did wrong in this instance was I uploaded it as a Word document. And that has changed the format completely for me. So what I actually need to do is to save this as a PDF document. But all you need to do, instead of selecting it as a Word document, you go on the scroll down list and select PDF document instead and save that. And now I go and upload the PDF document instead of the Word document. Now, when I look at it again, and bear in mind, I haven't fixed that front cover sizing issue yet, but you can see that it's got the correct 25 pages, which is what I'm expecting to be in my actual manuscript. And if we look through, you can see that those pages are all now in the right place. So that writing at the bottom of page six is indeed at the bottom of page six. The writing at the top of page seven is where it should be. The writing saying that the supersized squirrel is on that page is in the right place. It's all saved exactly how I wanted it to. So that's all you need to do is just download your Word document as a PDF and upload the PDF onto the KDP platform, not the Word document. And the final thing that I wanted to talk to you about today is sometimes when you're uploading your image for whatever reason, it doesn't look how you're expecting it to look. And I've had this happen to me before. Now I've only ever experienced this with Adobe Illustrator, but that's because that's the only one I've ever used really. I haven't had the issue with Canva, but it could happen. So bear in mind the front cover is supposed to look like this. And when you upload it, it might look like this, or it might look like this with some weird lines on it. Now, the reason that sometimes happens is simply because it might have vector images in it. And for whatever reason, it doesn't like it. So all you need to do is when you go back into your Adobe Illustrator pr program, or perhaps whichever the, the design pr program you're using, so you select the cover, you go into object, and you just choose to rasterize it. You want to have it with higher resolution. And the color mode that you always want to use is CMYK. When you're printing documents, CMYK is the color choice that you go with. If it's a digital image, that's when you want to go with RGB. But for print documents, it's always CMYK. So you just go with high resolution and you press OK. And that, when you resave it all, will work. I hope you found this video useful. As always, I accept any questions that you may have. I'm just trying to troubleshoot some issues that I've seen commonly happen. But if you've got any particular problems, feel free to get in touch and I'll try and do a video on it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.